Hello, race fans. Alex Weaver here in Studio 3 with Jonathan and Chase from NASCAR.com. An impressive Atlanta race, but even more so impressive, and probably what's making more of the headlines is Brad Kozlowski gets the checkered flag, stomach flu, no problem for Kez, gets the checkered flag. Pretty impressive. It's really impressive that he's able to go into victory lane. He did at the, at the end of practice. He was able to make a run, uh, but he obviously didn't feel good. I mean, he lost five to six pounds in 10 hours on that Saturday. And then to come back on Sunday and race 500 miles and win, like that's that's really incredible. It shows how tough he is. Uh, and Brad Keselowski's a tough guy. There's no doubt about it. But like in the grand scheme of things, to me, I don't. Is this really you know all that big of a deal? I mean, people race sick all the time. If you talk to Brad, I'm sure he's the type of guy that you know it's another day in the office. So obviously. He wasn't that sick where he couldn't be in the race car. And you talked about him, you know, missing practice. Well, Kyle Busch wrecked his car, went to a backup car, wrecked that during the race, and still finished in the top 10 as well. Yeah, but Jonathan, you have to look back at, at other times where Brad has been able to show some strength and get back in the car. Look at Pocono in 2011. Five days before, he broke his ankle in a head-on crash at 100 miles per hour at Road Atlanta. Came back to Pocono, one with a broken left ankle. And at Pocono, you have to shift, too. So pushing in the clutch and all that, I'm sure, was pretty uncomfortable. So, yes, he's tough, man. Brad Keselowski, there's no doubt he's a badass. What he does on track is awesome. It's great that he won the race. Very strong showing for Penske. But Dale Earnhardt broke his leg at Pocono in 82, I think. He got back in the race car. And you have to think Kyle Busch broke his leg, missed 10 races, came back, won five races. So no doubt, Brad Keselowski, badass race car driver. I don't think he needed to win with the flu to, to prove that to anybody. All right, well, still a pretty impressive outing for the two camp. Brad Keselowski shakes the flu, gets it done in Atlanta. Keep it locked on NASCAR.com. See you guys on Sunday in Vegas.